Hi Virgo, welcome back to part two of your reading. Virgo, <clears throat> these mind-blowing messages from spirit. Okay, Virgo. So to start out part part one, we had we got um three three three, which is spiritually connected. Okay. This is that spiritual messages, um basically guidance about your path, okay? The path that you're on, the path that you're about to connect to and align with opportunities that are opening up for you, Virgo. Now, for part two, okay, we're gonna pick up right where we left off in part one. So if you have not checked out part one, go check out part one and then uh, start with part two, okay, Virgo? Now, we got these big messages from spirit. All right. We got the eight of pentacles. Okay. I was picking up Virgo that this new job or this job, it's like there's more money coming in. Okay. So we got your monthly income will double. All right, Virgo. So for some of you, if you're not getting a new job, okay, this is a general message. So it's not going to resonate with everyone. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also, um, you know your story, Virgo. So, you know, it could go multiple different ways. But what I'm picking up, either you are at a job and you're going to believe in yourself and go after an opportunity within your company that's going to open up for you to elevate, okay? This is going to bring bigger, brighter, happier, more abundant days ahead, all right? This is the blessing. Now, for my Virgos that are, look, you know, we did get someone's getting fired, okay? We got this energy towards the end of the reading. Someone is getting fired. We got financial hardship, all right, Virgo. So what this is letting me know, again, from part one, we got this message from spirit. Things are tough. There's hard times right now, but better days are promised to you. The power of faith. All right. God says better days are ahead. All right, Virgo. So this is what you need to get ready for. We have a big blessing that's coming in. This is what spirit wants you to be aware of. And I can feel the energy. The ace of pentacles was sticking out of the deck, Virgo. At the end of the reading, the ten of pentacles was at the bottom. And underneath the ten of pentacles is the hangman. All right, Virgo. So that's what's going on. I feel like you're going to... Okay, so I'm going to start with the eight of pentacles here. I'm going to start with the eight of pentacles because for some of you, this is definitely a new job. Now at the bottom of the deck underneath the hangman was the 10 of swords. So this is that bad news that you're going to receive. Okay. Um, for some of you, this is being fired, let go from a job. You didn't see it coming. All right. Spirit doesn't want you to, you know, take that as, oh my God, you know, my life can't be going, you know, as you're saying, you know, I don't resonate because I'm let go, you know, but God is saying, Virgo, there is the, it's like the will of fortune is now turning in your favor. That's what you need to understand. Like you needed to go through that in order to get where you are today, all right? So it's like, now that you're out and released, okay? Now that you're released from this job, as painful as it may be, or situation, or relationship, take it as it resonates. Even though you're let go unexpectedly, this is the kickoff that spirit has been waiting for, okay? We're going to clarify with angels, but I want to get some more messages here. When it comes to Virgo and this new job, or when it comes to Virgo in this Eight of Pentacles energy, working hard, very proud of your work, enjoying what you do, what is the message here? Show some light, shed some light here on this eight of pentacles because it's right over the ace of pentacles 
which is this big blessing from God, a fresh new start for you to do exactly what it is you love. The will of fortune is letting me know above the 10 of pentacles that this is good fortune, great fortune turning in your favor. I mean, you can't get no more positive and happy confirmations than the Will of Fortune, the Sun card, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Like Virgo, I haven't even had my coffee yet to express the excitement, okay, that this is. That's why Spirit is saying, Virgo, you got to check out part one if you haven't already. You have unlocked abundance. That's what this message is. That's what spirit wants you to know. It's almost like giving me the major arcana, the ma the magician. It's like you're being given everything you need to have to live this prosperous life. Wow, this is big, Virgo. All right, so when it comes to the eight of pentacles energy, when it comes to this Eight of Pentacles, what does Virgo need to see when it comes to the Eight of Pentacles? So we have compassion. Okay. We have compassion here. Let's get a couple more for Virgo. When it comes to this eight of pentacles when it comes to whew, okay life purpose we have life purpose here virgo that's what that's what this is about you guys are being aligned with your life purpose this is a huge blessing because when you start doing what it is you truly love when you start doing what it is you really really enjoy doing you don't mind working hard for yourself for your own business or you don't mind working hard for this new job because you really enjoy what it is you do i don't know why i just heard children for some of you you may enjoy working with children or taking care of others that's for someone. I'm not sure who that's for. But Virgo, we got answers at the bottom of the deck. It's like spirit is saying, Virgo, you're going to be getting all the clarity, all the answers that you need. When If you want to be aligned with your purpose, you're going to get the answers, the clarity that you need. We have the sun card here letting me know that all will be revealed. All will be revealed. Okay, Virgo? Everything that you need to know. This path, this door, this opportunity for you to begin working, doing your light path. For some of you, this is light work. Light worker, okay? When you're ready to align with your life purpose, Virgo, all you got to do is ask. Ask your spiritual team, ask God to align you with your purpose because this is where the money is at, Virgo. This is where the money is at. You're going to be making two times what you're bringing home. Now, Spirit is saying you need the answers, the clarity. Let me see if I have my life purpose deck. Give me one second, Virgo. Okay, Virgo. I have my life purpose deck. Now, we have answers are coming to you, okay, when it comes to this life purpose work. I'm going to go ahead and take answers, okay, because that's the clarity. That's um, I feel like Spirit is saying if you seek the answers, if you seek clarity, it will be revealed to you, Virgo. Okay. Let's go ahead and get 
the life purpose, okay? So Virgo, that's what this message is all about. Spirit is saying that this is the time. This is karma. This is divine timing. This is the time for you to begin. Like if you, okay, so say you, okay, not everybody is going to go through this. Virgo, let's say that you were let go from a job. This is the biggest blessing of your life, okay? Because just know. Now, if you're like, oh my God, I wasn't let go from a job. Is this still resonating? Is this still going to happen for me? Yes. Because everybody's situation unfolds differently, okay? Now, I feel like this is for every Virgo, this message. But it's like, it all depends on where you are at in your life. Yes, you can have this. Yes, this is for you. But, you know, you know, everybody develops and grow at a certain, you know, level. So I feel like every Virgo can have the, this big blessing. I feel like this protection, this blessing is over every Virgo. But it's like, you have to be ready for this blessing. A lot of Virgos are ready. And that's why spirit is saying, get, you know, a lot of Virgos are ready. And for some of you, you need to get ready, get ready. Okay. It's almost like, you know, keep your eyes open, you know, be, you know, alert because it's like your spiritual team is going to be like, you know, look for a sign. They're going to be sending you all kind, kinds of messages. All right, Virgo. So let's see what's going on. For my Virgos that need to align with their life purpose to live a more prosperous, more abundant lifestyle. All right. What is the life purpose? I'm going to pull three cards. Three cards. For Virgo. For Virgo. When it comes to spirit guides, tap in. Um, let's go ahead, okay? We have a speaker. A speaker. Virgo. Communications. I definitely feel like Virgo definitely should be in communications. We have your life purpose involves your skills of oration. All right. So Virgo, um, I feel like this is the energy of taking charge. Um, I'm feeling the leadership energy. Virgo, there may be something you need to say. Um, I feel like you guys have a story in you. I feel like a lot of you have a story in you. Look at this. We have leadership. For some of you, it's a leadership position, a leadership role. Okay, is your life purpose. Take charge of this situation, Virgo. Whatever job you're at, take charge, all right? You guys, show them what you're made of, all right? Because I see major growth and elevation happening for you, especially if you're not the one getting let go from a job. It's time for you to climb that ladder, Virgo. Show them what you got. Show them your leadership abilities. Show them that you are a great you're good at communicating. You're a good communicator, all right? If you work on the phones, show, show them what you got, okay, Virgo? Step into that leadership position. I see you guys making way more money than what you're making now, and that's what's unfolding for you. Wow, we have career change, all right, Virgo? This is that tower energy, Okay, um, you know, for some of you, you're looking at it from only one perspective, like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? How am I going to, you know, I'm just suddenly fired. Like, how could they let me go? You know, Virgo, you're looking at it from just one perspective. Look at it from another perspective, like, wow, I'm finally free. I'm free. I can go and do, now I don't have to have the guilt of leaving the job. They let me go. Now I can go pursue what it is I really been wanting to pursue. Okay. So it says you're embarking upon a career that brings you joy. Oh my God. I didn't even see this. Virgo, this career change 
It's going to bring you joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Do you see that angel on top? I'm telling you, you guys have a spiritual team, okay? A strong spiritual protection around you, all right? And your spirit guide is trying to lead you to this career change where it's going to bring you the joy and abundance that you desire and deserve. This is your life style after the tables have turned. Once you've once you started working that dream job, Eight of Pentacles, once you've accepted the big blessing that's coming in, Virgo, that's going to change your whole life. Now that the wheels have turned, this is how you're going to be living. The Ten of Pentacles. Everything is good. <laughs> Everything is good. You may have lots of family over. For some of you, I see a very full house. Lots of family around, lots of abundance of love, financial security, all your needs are met, all your wants are met. You're able to take care of other people. If you want, you're able to give to charity, you're going to be able to donate, you know, um, you know, where you're able to, I don't know how much money it is, but you're able to, you know, spend about from my heart. Like I would say like at least a thousand dollars on toys to give back to the children. I, you know, I've always wanted to do something like that. You know, I'm waiting for God to put me in a position to help others because that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, not just to make me feel good, but I like to see people happy. I like to see people in their best energy. And there's nothing more beautiful than seeing someone happy and in their best energy. It's, it's really like, you know, the most amazing thing that you can experience. Um, you know how you feel at church? Everyone's warm, everyone's loving, lots of hugs everywhere. You may not know her or him, but you're giving them a hug. I love that energy. All right, Virgo. So you guys, oh, we have a card that fell. Oracle cards. Look at that. I feel like this is a surprise message that came out. This is a little uh, bonus for some of you, your tarot card readers, Virgo, or you would make a, an amazing tarot card reader, oracle card reader, Virgo. You don't have to start out with tarot. You can start out with the oracle cards and, you know, set your platform up on, on YouTube or, you know, or, you know, set up a website where you do personal readings. Yeah, Virgo. You can totally um, tap into this energy, okay? Um, it definitely connects with the speaker energy, compassion for others, um, giving people answers and clarity. For some of you, it's starting your own business, working with your hands, doing something you absolutely love. For It says you're able to discern answers. I cannot make this up. You're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. There it is, Virgo. You're able, as you see this wise person, this wise one in this card, Virgo, is giving me the hermit energy. Virgo, you seek answers. You seek clarity. You would be amazing as a tarot card or oracle card reader to help people get answers as well. All right, Virgo, so that is the little T on life purpose work that's going to connect you to unlocking abundance in your life, okay? Either oracle, some sort of leadership role, career change, some type of work where you're doing uh, speaking, um, you know, where you're speaking to a large audience, okay? This could be motivational. This could be spiritual, Okay, Virgo, that's where the money is at. All right, so we're going to clarify really quick with the angel's deck. When it comes to Virgo,
Hold on, Virgo. When it comes to Virgo and this Eight of Pentacles, angels, what is your advice? What is your advice? Okay. We have a couple cards here. Wow. Wow, 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 Virgo. We have the Three of Gabriel and we have the Six of Ariel. Okay. Hold on, you guys. Let me monetize my video really quick. Part one. Just uploaded. Okay. All right, Virgo. So with this job, this eight of pentacles, what you do for work, what you enjoy doing, spirit is saying the three of Gabriel prosperity arises from wise planning time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. There it is, Virgo. Your ships have came in. This is abundance, prosperity from wise planning. Time to take the next step, guys. Thinking optimistically, okay? So this is thinking optimistically about this career change. Your prosperity will arise as you plan wisely, we did get wisdom that came out. Plan wisely when it comes to this career change, Virgo. But think optimistically and what you plan will come out that way as you expected. All right. We have the six of Ariel. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. Acts of kindness Giving or receiving with a grateful heart, Virgo. I felt like some of you, you know, may be doing some kind of charity work. But Virgo, when it comes to this job, when it comes to this career change, when it comes to what it is that you enjoy doing, you're going to be, your material needs are going to be fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. I mean, spirit is coming through so crystal clear for you. We even have the ace of a ace of pentacles here. Wow, this is big and beautiful, Virgo. When it comes to the wheel of fortune, clarify the wheel of fortune for Virgo, please. Clarify, okay? So we have the five of Raphael, everything happens, Virgo, for a reason, okay? So this is letting me know that the will of fortune is like unexpected energy, something happening, tables turning unexpectedly. You might not realize with all the confusion and everything that happens from that sudden change, you may not realize that, oh my God, this was in my favor. You might not see it right away. So that's what spirit is saying. You might look at it as a loss. I was let go. You know, I, I ended a relationship. You know, I had to walk away from this or that. Spirit is saying you were spiritually guided to do so. This was meant to happen. Don't look at it as a bad thing, Virgo. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret. Okay, Virgo? Don't have any regrets because you may not understand why you're doing certain things right now in your life because you're heavily spiritually guided. So you just may, may be, you know, allowing spirit to take the wheel and you just may be cutting people off. You know, you're fired. No problem. You're walking away. You're just doing what you're spiritually guided to do. You're not showing any regrets. You're not showing any anger. You're just going with the flow of the change. And that's what's going to flow you right to this Ace of Pentacles. We have, yeah, it says Virgo, 
Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. You guys, this is beautiful. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. There it is, guys. And the silver lining is this ace of pentacles that's coming in, a career change, a blessing that's coming in. All right. So when it comes to this 10 of pentacles, this life of luxury, 10 of pentacles for Virgo, doing living your life purpose, the 10 of pentacles. Clarify why it's the tentacle, Ten of Pentacles here. We have the Queen of Michael. Wow. Virgo. So what's going to get you? Mm -hmm. What's going to get you connected to this energy? The living the life of luxury, a very large, expensive home, living very abundantly, not wanting for cash or, you know, money. You, you have all of that. All right. Fortune is on your side. We have the sun card here. So Virgo, for this 10 of Pentacles energy to be here and present, there was something very brilliant you had to do. There was a decision making, your wisdom. Um, you know, I, I say Virgos are old souls, very wise. Virgo, self-reliant, insightful Virgo. You took your situations. For some of you, I get like um, a sense of humor energy as well. Like for some of you, you laughed at some of your hardships. Like, oh my God, I cannot believe this. What? Like you're not even really letting it affect you. Because with the queen of swords, the queen of Michael, this is letting me know that you have intelligence, you have wisdom, you have spiritual guidance beyond imagination, okay? Like you guys are like, I'm too smart for this. I'm too smart to let this affect me, bring me down. I've worked too hard or I'm just too smart. I'm going to figure out another way. It says, you know exactly what to do, Virgo. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. So there it is, Virgo. For some of you, you're like, you know what? I have experience under my belt. I'm intelligent. I'm going to find that silver lining. And that's, that's, that's exactly what's going on here. You guys took that spiritual guidance and you made the, 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 you made the most out of it with the 10 of Pentacles here. All right. So we have the hangman and the sun card. Now with the sun card, I'm getting the energy like Virgo, you're released, you're free. Now you're abundant. You can go and do what you want. Now it's like your inner child is, 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 has been freed. Now you might start doing fun, silly stuff. Okay, it's like you're out of this energy of waiting. You're out, you're free. And look out, look how happy you are. It's like you don't realize the life, the path you've been on has been nothing but learning lessons. It's like now spirit is like Virgo, you're ready to come out. You're ready. It's like a microwave. Ding! You're ready, Virgo. You're developed. And now you can go out and share your beautiful light. Now you can go and be free and do what it is you want to do. For some of you, I see you being fun, silly, you know, just really enjoying your life. That inner child is really going to shine through. Let's see. For Virgo, we have the sun card. Nothing but positive, abundant energy, just happiness, love, freedom. Clarify the sun card for Virgo, please. Clarify the sun energy. Oh my gosh. 
So Virgo, this is just confirmation again that you made the right choice from your heart. You took a leap of faith. You believed in yourself. You listened to your heart. You did do what gives you joy. And that's exactly what you did. You guys, this leap of faith. This is what's going to change your life, you guys. This is what's going to change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. There it is. That's the freedom I'm talking about. Making choices from your heart. The power of love, the lovers. You made the right choice, Virgo. Spirit wants you to know that. And then we have the ace of Gabriel here, the ace of wands. A great passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. There it is, guys. This is your reading. This is what spirit wanted you to know, Virgo. That there's so much love, abundance, happiness, where you can really do something amazing here on this planet, Virgo. Just living out your life purpose. Guys, this is your reading. Congratulations on unlocking this abundance. I'm sending nothing but love and light your way. Thank you for watching part two. Until the next time. Bye, Virgo.